So many of you who know me know that I absolutely love a clean airplane. It's something that I believe in is it's a direct representation of you as a pilot and how you treat your flying and your airplane as an owner. It's a direct reflection on that. So we always strive for a very, very clean airplane on the outside. So that way you can approach it with confidence and make your passengers and the people that you're flying with super excited and you're proud to show it off on the ramp. So this is a video on my favorite ways to clean an airplane showing you everything that I use, all those sprays and everything. So let's get to it, let's clean this thing. So first things first, my hangar setup might be a little bit different than yours, but I have this little cleaning cart here that's super helpful. I'll show you the chemicals that I use and kind of the order that I have them. The first one actually is just very, very simple. You're gonna be surprised, it's just water. I use a just regular tap water as a spray. I know some, uh, some may believe that or may not, uh, but I'll show you how I use this. So that's just plain old water. I always have a, a, a bottle of Aviation Simple Green. It's very, very important that Aviation Simple Green is, uh, is uh, it, that you use that, not just the regular Simple Green you get at the hardware store. So Aviation Simple Green, and I mix it 50-50 split, and I put it in, with water. So 50% water, 50% Aviation Simple Green. You can use the directions on the back. This really helps with the degreaser on the, on the belly. Um, and then finally is a little finishing product. product. I use this Aero Magnolia Polyglide. You can get this at sporties.com. That's really the only place that I've seen it. Um, and I use maybe about a quarter uh, ratio to water or use the directions um, on the bottle. So this is, uh, this is a really great finishing product. A few others that I use, I have ZEP40. I get this on Amazon. It's just a little aerosol spray. It's uh, you know, about 20 bucks for two or three cans. I order about you know, anywhere from five to 10 at a time since I go through a lot. And I use this literally on the, uh, on the wheel pants for brake dust and grime. Aviation Prist is awesome. This is windscreen cleaner. I'll show you how I use it, but do not use any ammonium-based products on the windows of a Cirrus. Aviation Prist is a good one. It's a cleaner, plus it's also a polish. So it's, uh, it's really nice. So these are the chemicals that I, or the, the, the spray products that I use. And the last one I actually have for interior wise is Smitty's Glass Wax. It comes with a little microfiber cloth, a little dab of this on the cloth will clean the, the screens, the PFD and the MFD screens just really well. I like keeping this in the airplane other than uh, other cleaners because it also works on iPads, phones, and your sunglasses. So it works really well if you're flying and those are dirty and you wanna wipe them off uh, and appease your ADD like my, I do in flight. I make sure everything's nice and clean. So Smitty's glass wax as well. So I'll show you next how we actually apply it to the, to the airplane and here we go. So for the water bottle here, what I actually use, I spray this onto the uh, surface of the wing or the leading edge. It works well if your airplane has TKS or if it's a clean wing, meaning no ice protection. This works really well. I let it sit and I spray it real finely and then I let it st uh, sit for about a minute. The water beads up, collects all the dust, and I just wipe the water off with a, uh, with a uh, uh, microfiber cloth. I'll show you. So here I am with the, the horizontal stabilizer of the airplane. You can see all the bugs here. I'm just gonna spray this down just in a nice fine mist. You can start to see some of the bubbles. I let that bubble and that mist basically sit for about a minute. It beads up, collects the dust, and then I can just wipe it away on the bugs away. This is safe for the TKS panels. Um, and it's really nice on your hands as well. It's really why I like like doing it. So let me show you, I'll let it soak and show you how easily it wipes off. This is just water. Awesome, so now the water is sat for about a minute. It's important to do this out inside so that you don't, uh, the water doesn't evaporate and the, and the sun dries it. But you can slowly see, it's hard to get it with this camera angle, but the water is really beaded up. And what it's done is, is it's pulled all the dust, the, the surface dust into that bead of water now I'm gonna take my microfiber cloth and just wipe this away. So you can see how easily, this is literally just like a, an eraser, and I don't have to apply much pressure on the leading edge to get the bugs off. But here, now I can just wipe this, and when you're done, you can flip the rag over and feel it, and you can really feel that all that surface layer dust is gone, and that's gonna help when we apply the polyglide. 
All right, so we're looking really good here. The, the surface area of the wing has gotten all this like hangar dust or if your plane sat outside or even for an hour in the wind, be surprised how dusty this gets. You could really rub your hand across and start to feel, um, start to feel how dusty it gets. So the water really does a great job of clearing that dust off. So the next step, we're ready to put the Aero Magnolia Polyglide on and a little goes a long way. So all I'm gonna do is literally to tilt the bottle up like this and spritz and let it just sit and kind of mist onto the, the, onto the control surface. So I really only need about four, four uh, sprays of that into the air and you can see how fine this gets on the surface. And what happens, um, I can go ahead and just start uh, wiping this away now with a new microfiber cloth. And what this is gonna do is it's a little bit of a polish and sort of a wax, and it will make the, make the control surface feel like it's a showroom finish. It's, I absolutely love this stuff. And the big key to remember is that a little goes a long way. And as you're wiping this, you can really start to feel the resistance in the rag as you get it worked in. It, the rag all of a sudden like speeds up. You can literally feel the acceleration in the rag is this stuff dries and uh, clears it off. And now it's got a literally a showroom finish and your hand is nice and smooth. So anyway, I love this stuff. A little goes a long way, big principle. And then also spritz it up and let it atomize and mist onto the, onto the control surface. So the next area that I normally get is, and I use the, it's time to bring on the Aviation Simple Green, is the, uh, Aviation Simple Green back here in the rear part of the belly. You can start to see this is a normally aspirated airplane, very common to have a little bit of an oil streak or a kind of a soot streak. And the turbos is going to be more of a white film. And this Aviation Simple Green does a fantastic job of cutting through this grease and letting it sit and you just be able to wipe it off. I've tried lots of different products, Zep 40, Eliminator, that really try to wipe that uh, stuff off of that film and it's really difficult and the best thing that I've found so far is aviation simple green and I'll just spray this on here pretty generously and what we need to do is just let it sit and soak for about uh, oh I'd say 30 seconds or so and you can already start to see that it's eroding away at that little oil line if you will and uh, I don't want to let it sit too long because this stuff dries pretty quick too so I go 30 seconds we'll come back to it and we'll wipe it all right, so 30 seconds has gone by. I'm just gonna come up here and start wiping this away. You can really start to see, I've got very little effort with my hand and it really glides away. You can really feel the, wet, the rag wipe, this, uh, wipe the belly clean and this does a really nice job. Sometimes I'll come back and hit it with a little water um, to get any excess simple green residue off and this will look just like a showroom finish. I love it. You can start to see from the rag, this is this oil, soot, um, and that gray uh, kind of film. The SR22 turbos, you'll see a real white haze. 20s and 22s, you'll just see kind of an oil. So it does a really great job of wiping that off with very minimal effort. Now for one of the last things, I come back and I start, I bring out the Aviation Prist. This is the windscreen cleaner and you can see you got a lot of bugs really cool. It means we're flying a lot, but we want uh, a nice clean, clean windscreen. So I do a really nice, generous coating of this. Um, and I actually go up top and I try to wipe it. That way I can get the very top part of the windscreen as I go um, and, and wipe that off. So I get that there so I can soak it. And, uh, and then I'll, by the time I'm on top of the wing, this should look really good and be ready to wipe. All right, so we're on top of the, the wing here. It's time to get this. This is the area where it's hard to get if you're doing it from the ground. So I'm just gonna go in a nice motion here and get this nice and wiped off, go very slow. V really, really important to have a clean rag. That way we don't etch away at any, um, uh, in, you have any type of micro scratches that you'll be able to really see in the sunlight. So. Nice and smooth. I'm going to go ahead and hit the other side here, finish this up, but this is how you get the windscreen nice and clean. So 
So finally, last but not least, it's the wheel pants. I'm just gonna use regular water again on the wheel pants to get the bugs off. This is where I might bring in the Zep 40 because in the back part of the wheel pant here, sometimes you'll get a lot of dirt and grime and um, that's where I'll spray the, the, the Zep 40 and try to get that. But, you know, this has a really interesting uh, finish on it or different angles. So you kind of have to really move the rag around and clean this off appropriately. The last uh, part here, you just kind of give it a good rub and uh, goes all the way up here. You'd be surprised w what parts of the airplane hit the, hit the actual uh, bugs, but it doesn't take much if you stay ahead of it. Uh, you can maintain a really nice, clean airplane. So I'll bring out the Zep 40. Looks like this is relatively good, but we'll get it and we'll make sure that it's absolutely clean. So this back part of the wheel pants, you can start to see some of this, uh, the grime that's building up here. This is from brake dust and just taxi around. This is where I'll bring out the Zep 40. And I'll just spray it around here and let it soak. You can kind of see, start to see the Zep 40 will foam and outline where some of the dirt is. So I'll just take an old, you know, dirty rag that I am going to get rid of and just clean this up. I'll get right underneath the wheel pant here and should uh, should clean up real nice, real simple. Easy enough. Same thing with the nose wheel pant. You'll, sometimes you'll get a lot of fuel and oil that will leak off of here. That's normal because you have the breather tube that comes down. But I'll use the Zep 40 again, spray this around, make sure you get it on both sides, and then you're good. I make sure I grab it underneath and kind of start up. That way I make sure I don't forget that. And it does a nice job of getting it clean. Awesome, the plane looks great. I did the entire airplane with the techniques that we just talked about, and I feel really good. I think that's really important in our flying that we feel really good all the way down to your airplane being clean and that your passengers, as they start to show up and they fly with you, they have the confidence of feeling that your flying and the way that you treat your airplane and your flying is fantastic. So do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button on this video. It helps things out so much. I appreciate comments. If you saw something different or you disagree or you do something different than I do, we'd love to learn about it. So comment below. Until then, you'll be thankful to keep your airplane nice and clean, stay ahead of it, and fly safe.